the Bob's exodus has officially begun with Brent Naden leaving and Jack Hetherington on his way following the departure of coach Trent Barrett. Boys, is this just the beginning? It is just the beginning. The, the strength and conditioning coach, uh, Dan Ferris, has also been let go. Uh, and obviously uh, Steve Hanson, who was an advisor to uh, Trent um, Barrett, he's come out and give the dogs a serve today. So it's unlikely he'll return. Mm. And uh, obviously there's going to be a bit of a clean-out now of the roster. So uh, an interesting thing with Phil Gould said last night, he said that come 2024, only five or six, he said, mm. of the current roster are under contract. So there's a lot of, there'll be a lot of space in the cap now. Uh, I don't know who those players are and obviously we'll have to start getting on the phones to figure out who that is and, and find out uh, how accurate that number is because that is a lot of players mm. uh, who are uh, on their way out of the club. I assume some of those players are, are contracted and just haven't been told yet the news uh, that they There'd may be not be there. a lot of worried players, wouldn't there, at yeah. the moment, and staff. Certainly that's the indication uh, I'm getting and a lot of the other clubs are starting to pick up on it too, guys, which is interesting. Now, you've got to temper it to a degree to, to determine whether those clubs just are happy to see another club sinking. But at the same time, there is certainly some messaging coming out of the mm. dogs mm. to other clubs that there are unhappy players and that potentially we could, mm. hey, would you be interested in this player if it goes down a particular path? The Brent Naden situation is extraordinary. Yeah. How it unfolded in the past, the past 24 hours, that's how quickly this deal has been done. In the space of Trent Barrett being sacked, uh, Brent Naden has picked up on the tea leaves. That, that was the reason he came there. He came there to, to be coached by Barrett, realised that his... So it's his decision. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, he, he picked up on it. And they yeah. also know... that the, Naden also knew that Karaz, young Karaz coming through the system, young talent... <clears throat> um, would also be putting pressure on him as well. Saw an opportunity and got out, and here he is coming up against the dogs. So it wasn't him told to go? No. Not, sure? that I, not that I understand. OK. Let's I've, I've heard, I've heard murmurs out of Bulldogs that he's not, he's not the, the most popular at the moment there at the club. That's but, what I've heard. On both fronts, Naden was a player that was brought to the club this year, along with Matt Dufty, along with Paul Vaughan, there's absolutely nothing bad you can say about Burton and, and how hard he's tried and Josh Addo Carr. But the, but the rest of the crew that's come along this year, it's very, very hard to find anything positive to say about them whatsoever. Mm. But this is who the club brought. This is the decision that Trent Barrett made. Whoever is in charge of the board, they've, they've said, yeah, they've signed yeah, off was, on this, mate. They've brought him. Yep. But, 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 Paul, in the past five years now, they've sacked three coaches. So it's gone from Des to Dean Pay, to Trent Barrett. Now you're looking at another one. You've, you've brought seven new players into the club at the start of this season, and now we're told they're at rock bottom. Oh, yeah. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I, I, get, I yeah. totally get what you're saying. I'm just saying that the way it, it, uh, it's unfolding here with these players, they went into the market last year, and for, for two years they let poor old Dean Pay sit there and wither as a coach. They did not allow him to go into market and buy any quality players because they we knew that the salary cap was out of shape. We knew there was overpriced players there. And so they made poor <coughs> Dean Pay suffer for that. And just when he was about to think, well, OK, I'm going to get some clear air here. The salary cap's got to open up. I'm going to the market and, and buy some players. The two leads, today's point, said basically, well, Dino, you're on the way out. We're going to get Trent Barrett in. Barrett came in and... Again, they panicked when they bought. The, there was, what's the plan there? What's the plan there? You look at the teams that have played, that have improved significantly this season. Let's look at the Cowboys. Let's look at the Cronulla. They went and bought halfbacks. Mm. Look at Brisbane. Bought a halfback. That that's been the difference. I, I know Burton's a five eighth, but he's not a seven. And there's a big difference in the way they play. And that's what, the, for all the money that the dogs spent, they were buying in positions. Mm. They already had some sort of depth. Well, Trent, Trent bought Kyle Flanagan. Mm. Yes. You know, that, that wasn't a leftover from Dean Pay. That was, that was Trent's mm. call. Yeah. And this is what I, I continue to go to back with. Look, we don't know as much about rugby league, apparently, as mm. Phil Gould, but he's been there. Well, we don't. The that's, board's that's been irrelevant. there. They've all signed off on these guys. And I'm telling you now... If you couldn't have looked at the guys that they were bringing in, the majority of the people they were bringing into the club this year, and think this is not doesn't, mm. these aren't danger signs, you're clueless. Yeah. But the board signed off on it. I know they want a one and a seven. I, I know the club do want that. There's not a hell of a lot around, but they, they will be looking for a one and a seven. But seven. you don't have to figure that. Yeah, out. I know. Like, but that, that's what they're looking at now. I want to get the Jack Hetherington yeah. now. I mean, we I spoke last night about their recruitment, and I thought it had been average. And you're looking for a player that suits the Bulldogs' mm. way. 
I think he does. So I, I think... I mean, he, yes, he's got suspensions in him, right? But he's tough. He's uncompromising. He doesn't let you down. Well, intimidating. The suspensions, he's intimidating. Yep. He's got that, that bulldog in him. That, that, that's what I see. What, what's happening with him? So, Braith, he's been given permission to leave the club. Uh, again, and look, I take your point that you're hearing that, that Naden may have... You're, you're, you believe he may have been pushed I don't out, know. I was just... Right? I'm, I'm questioning that. But now. the point is, these players signed to play under Trent Barrett. That's yes. the key here with Jack Hetherington as well. Played under Barrett while Barrett was the assistant coach at, Pan, at the Pan, Panthers. Formed a strong relationship. Comes to the Dogs. And we know that Trent spoke openly about, I'm the guy that can tame this beast. Mm. Yeah. Like, he plays tough, no-nonsense footy. Uh, and now he has been given permission to leave. Uh, and that is why three clubs, Newcastle mm. Tigers and the Dolphins, are interested in picking be him a up. Good pick up. And and as you said, I, I think he's a he's a he's a player mm. that the Dogs in See, past years would latch on to. Yeah. You yeah. you say he has Bulldogs DNA, mm. and there's no question, there's no disputing, he has that character about him. But he, but in my opinion, the way that the club and and particularly Trent continually made excuses for Jack Hetherington's inability to change his style so he didn't become a liability for the side, mm. I believe contributed to Trent's downfall. There's no use continuingly say that the guy hasn't got a problem when he spends week after week after week on the sidelines through suspension. Big problem at the club. You look at the... You talk about the, the bulldog way. For, toughness was a big part of that, that break, as you know. For, for a 35-year period, the Bulldogs averaged a grand final every three years. It's now been... This is the ninth season since their last grand final. So that mm. sort of shows you where it's all dried up. But not only that, they're now sitting down at the bottom of the table where they're... Yeah, it's becoming quite familiar then. Guys, the big one's Viliami Kikau in my eyes. Like, honestly, again, another player that signed to play under Trent Barrett. But take it as read... He also signed because a lot of the Penrith boys went over. Yeah. Brent Naden, yeah. Jack Hetherington. That's who Kickout was mates with. That was a part of the Matty Burton, mm. right? These are lures for Kickout to join the dogs, as well as Trent Barrett. I'll believe it when I see yeah. him in a, in a blue and white jersey. What's going to happen to Vaughan, uh, Dufty and Pangai? Well, Vaughan, Vaughan's, Vaughan has his wise little crack at the, um, the media this week, but, but he, he might want to look in the mirror because... He's gone from being an $800,000 footballer at the Dragons and a former Test prop to getting what was it, the last 15 months of his wage cut when he got sacked from the Dragons. He got a $50,000 fine. He's gone across to the Bulldogs, I understand, on about $400,000. And I don't think he'll be there next year. And so he'll probably end up in England on $100,000. They can't sell him. He's been shopped around already. I already think it's pretty much fait accompli. He's going to England because there's not an NRL club interested in which... Look... The one thing about... You know, Paul Vaughan has his crack OK yesterday. Go for your life. But where's his part in Trent Barrett's downfall? He's the one out in the field. Mm. He's part of those losses that has cost Trent Barrett his career. Mm. So I, I think before you start having a crack at other people, you've got to start saying, well, hang on a second, yep. where's my part in all this? Because... The only people who, are, who really have contributed, as much as Paul Vaughan doesn't like the media sitting out there, who were all there for, a, 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 obviously, a media conference that later got cancelled, so they hung around because they knew, obviously, then what was transpiring. The fact is, he was part of the, of the downfall. He, he, his performance and his teammates' performances are why Trent Barrett tonight is unemployed. A little, a little only about two weeks... Only about two weeks ago, I wonder if Paul Vaughan knows this. Yeah, his yeah. greatest ally is now gone. Trent Barrett. Mm. Two weeks ago, Trent was considering keeping Vaughan. Mm. I think that, that door closed.